At first glance, curbside cupcake may seem like any other street vendor. Do you have any of the red velvet left? Of course. But take a closer look, and you'll see these bakers aren't tethered to just one street corner. With just a few easy clicks, they're using social media sites to map their route and reach out to a broad range of customers. It's pretty innovative, and uh, you know, getting to the masses pretty uh, pretty easily. You know, almost everybody has Twitter and Facebook. From sweet desserts to Indian food and even salad. It's really yummy. Street vendors are now bringing their business straight to customers, one tweet at a time. I think it probably brings them more business given that they're not in the same place every day. It sort of, you know, makes it a sort of unique lunch option. The vendors that we spoke with said that using Twitter and Facebook to talk directly to customers gives them a definite edge over their traditional storefront competitors. Taking the truck to the people, bringing our store to people. We have a lot of fans out there. The Fajol brothers, who call themselves a traveling culinary carnival, didn't originally base their business model around the use of social networking. But they say it certainly has made things a whole lot easier. With Twitter, we've really been able to go to areas that maybe people wouldn't know that were there and then one person gets a tweet and then they give it to you know they send around an email in the office and people actually show up I mean it's awesome we you know you kind of create this this nice community of people curbside cupcake owner Christy Cunningham says these sites allow her to have an open dialogue with her customers we don't have to decide everything ask your customers and your customers tell you the Fajol brothers have taken things one step further with the invention of the Twitter twirl. So it's totally ridiculous. We actually have people doing Twitter twirls because it's the first two people to do a Twitter twirl get, get a free pick two meal. Silly, yes. But with business booming, this may just be the future of lunchtime fare. For ABC News, I'm Mary Bruce in Washington.